while droids do worry o'er their master's fate. Han and Chewbacca make their swift escape, while Luke and Leia now in safety wait, a mighty final jewel taketh shape. For certain I have waited, Obi-Wan, and now at last we meet together here. Our destinies once and for all fulfilled, the circle of our lives is now complete. A student was I when I left thee last, but now I am the master over thee. Thou art a master, Darth, I know tis true, but only evil hast thou mastered yet. In time thy powers have weak become, old man. And yet thou canst not win, I'll warrant, Darth, for if thou strike me down, e'en now, e'en here, I shall more great and powerful become than e'er thou hast imagined possible. I tell thee plain, thou shouldst not have returned. What noble battle passes twixt these men? Lightsabers rage from Sith and Jedi Knight. No more courageous battle hath there been, tis like the day does combat with the night. Now whilst the two in conflict strike their blows, the others come that they the ship may find. At first Han Solo with Chewbacca shows, then Luke and Princess Leia just behind. Did we not just this frightening party leave? Where hast thou been? We did some old friends meet, but finding them unfriendly have both vowed to find far truer, better friends henceforth. Hast thou seen any problems with the ship? It seemeth fine, if we may make approach and get beyond the stormtroopers. Aye then, my fondest hope is that thine Obi-Wan hath vanquished the wicked tractor beam. Behold, what ease! The stormtroopers go hence! Now tis our chance! Good R2-D2, come! Fly! Fly, good friends! Onto the ship, make haste! As everyone onto the ship draws nigh, young Luke sees Obi-Wan trade slice with slice, and Ben Kenobi catching young Luke's eye, prepares to make a gracious sacrifice. A Jedi is not made of fear or hate, but must a nobler countenance display. It is a lesson learned in times gone by, that still I teach myself unto this day. Full many years I've spent with thoughts of this, this instant when Darth Vader I'd confront. But now my thirst for retribution's cold, while sweet forgiveness doth my spirit taste. I know I cannot win this battle here, nor would I wish to slay the kindly man who surely still within this black shell lives. And so, on to this death I'll go, this sleep, this sleep that promises the dream of peace, this undiscovered galaxy wherein I'll know at last tranquility of heart. But ere I die, I'll one last lesson teach. I shall, in this my final moment, set a keen example for the universe, that future generations may yet know the valor and the strength of Jedi Knights. Put up thy lightsaber now, Obi-Wan, and show thyself a Jedi to this son. The cry of Nay escapes Luke's trembling lip, and stormtroopers turn round to see them there. A battle great begins before the ship, as to the falcon these brave souls repair. But ere the group departs amid the fray, Luke hears the voice of Obi-Wan inside. Pray run, Luke, run, the inner voice doth say, and Luke the Death Star leaves with force as guide. <laughs>